In this episode of Two Idiots on a Bike, we will show you how we surprisingly met our heroes Two Up and Overloaded and the adventure hacks on Penang Island. How we visited the beautiful Kek Lok Si Temple. How we got lost in the jungle while exploring the island. What the? How we reached a new temperature high on our trip. And our journey to the stunning island of Langkawi. So after we visited the tea plantations of Cameron Highlands, we drove over the incredibly long second Penang Bridge and we were ready for what this island has to offer. We used our time on the island to let the adventurers in us awaken again. We decided to go on an exploring trip in the island and see where Tilly was going to take us. But it initially turned into a traffic exercise of dodging cars. First this red car. Then another red car. You look really. And then shortly after, this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a good start. But it wasn't long until we spotted some wild monkeys. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Monkey. And some wild looking small roads leading into the nowhere. What a nice invitation, and of course, we couldn't say no. <laughs> Soon we found ourselves between the green forest with the sun peeking through the leaves heading higher and higher towards the middle of the island. And then, suddenly, what felt like in the middle of nowhere, we spotted ten dogs barking at us at once. What an orchestra! <laughs> We dropped some food, hoping they wouldn't fight much over it, and we kept continuing on our way. The path we followed was getting more and more amazing, with the drops at the side getting deeper and deeper. What the? But we felt very safe knowing that the car tyres on the side of the road will keep us from falling. Eventually we went downhill again, but the camera doesn't make it justice. It was so steep that Ollie was scared of falling over the handlebars while going down. But on the plus side, the views were amazing. We eventually made it down the most curvy and steep road and then, finally, got totally lost. And it was in an area called the Devil's Hill. <laughs> Trying to find our way out, one sign actually caught our attention. So we stopped immediately, rode slowly back to have a proper look. That looks dangerous. That looks like I'm making it too air. It turns out this road is private property and you get immediately shot when you enter. Since we don't like getting shot at so much, we turned around and tried to find another way back home. We then slowly found our way out to the main road and headed home to get ready for the next day's exploring, which was both a cultural and religious encounter. Good morning world and 
and welcome to... <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, YouTube influencer. The next day, we headed out again and soon spotted an amazing looking temple. So we decided to take a proper look. We took a left turn and headed towards the temple. And what an amazing temple we have just stumbled across. It was the impressive Keklok Si Temple. Nah, just kidding. We're only counting real dogs. We then of course went all in and took the electric car up the hill to visit the top part of the temple. Very steep. It is very steep. <laughs> That's okay, we're not gonna fall because we have our security safety uh, kids toy here. <laughs> they will keep us safe. First we had to go through the souvenir shop, which is where Maddie spotted the statue and wasn't sure if it really was a statue or a real person. Babe, is it real? What That's do you think? really creepy. <laughs> and then she finally made it happen and scared me. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Got you. Trust me, darling, I will get you back soon. Anyways, we then explored the upper part of the temple and it was absolutely oh impressive God. to look at. And it was at this very place where we learn about the tradition of the wishing tree. It is tradition here to write your wish on a ribbon and hang it on the tree so that it comes true. It was interesting to see which category needed the most spiritual support. We got two ribbons. One from a beautiful lady who chose for us the ribbon that said, come and go safely for our travels. Thank you for the beautiful wish. We decided to put this one on Tilly to have with us everywhere we go. And you can see this in our videos from now on. Which one are you going, babe? They're being together forever. And yeah. I write on the back to live a full, happy and healthy life together. <laughs> and we decided to hang this one on the tree. We then enjoyed the rest of the temple with its tranquility and peacefulness and let this special place have a very calming effect on us. It was then finally time for us to explore the riding roads of Penang Island and God oh God again we were absolutely stunned by what Malaysia has to offer for bikers. So yes, stay with us, here's some more amazing Malaysian riding footage straight from Penang Island.
it was at this very dam where we took a quick break. We were about to continue our ride when Medi suddenly made an encounter. We've been following a few people on YouTube now, but one couple always stood out for us. And we do know that the person on the pillion seat always wears flowers in her backpack. It is a couple that also rides around the world, two up on a bike, same as us, and has inspired us in our planning and journey a lot. So we decided to creepily follow them until they stopped, to see if we were right. Soon they stopped, and oh my god, it was true. It was too up and overloaded, and they were riding with the adventure hacks, another couple that we've been following. How big are the odds that we spontaneously meet two other couples riding around the world, here on Penang Island? We were absolutely stoked and couldn't believe it, from the screen to the real life. We decided to all go for lunch together at the beach, where we could enjoy some good chats and talks together. to meet other couples that have been doing the same thing and we were so glad that fate gave us this big opportunity. We also almost adopted a small travel companion. She seemed very comfortable on the back of Tilly. But sadly we had to head off and part ways again. Tim and Marissa, Kira and Brendan, it was so amazing to meet you. Thank you so much for all your inspiration, your useful hints and friendly chats. You guys are awesome. And we deeply hope that our paths will cross again. We headed back home and enjoyed the rest of our days on Penang Island where we also enjoyed an amazing fancy dinner, which was the farewell gift of Maddie's work colleagues. Thanks a lot, guys. We really enjoyed the evening just to ourselves without any cameras and toasted you with a lot of cocktails. We're on our way to Langkawi Island, I'm taking the ferry over there, and we just stopped for a quick lunch break on the side of the road where there are many of those little um, buffets where you can just like pay an amount of money and then eat as much as you want. It's pretty cool, very amazing. I'll show you the food. Over filming. Mmm, <laughs> look at this. It's almost gone now. With a fresh coffee and a fresh pressed apple juice. And it's only 24 ringgit. With Hangover Medi trying to film in the back. Oops. Yep. 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 You'll get it, darling. Up. Ah. Ah. Here we go. We made our way to the ferry to Langkawi. Soon we waited in line to board the ferry and slowly but intensely boiled in the sun. Her face is sweating. I always made fun of Diggy because he was sweating in the face, but I get it now. 
Well, Diggy, to be fair, it was about 40 degrees here, so still no excuse. With no breeze cooling us down, our clothes were soaked with sweat. We still had to wait until somebody would tell us where to go or to check our tickets again. So without knowing where to go, Ollie just went for it, waiting until somebody was shouting at him again, telling him what to do. Being first on the ferry, like we were told, we were then told to wait for the cars to overtake us before we finally parked Tilly. We could really feel the heat now. And with a little bit of help from the personnel, we lifted Tilly on her centre stand so she would be safe during the ferry ride. Here we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. It was fair to say we all overheated a bit. I'm done for today. <laughs> Babe, how hot do you think it is? A million degrees. 41 degrees and a half. If it only would be 41, that'd be fine, but that half, that's too much. We then went upstairs to the aircon to get comfortable for the ride and to put our sticker on the window to join the other overlanders. Don't put it in here. Mushroom <laughs> <laughs> wet. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's better. Ah, look at it. The Sada bike team. It's an honour to be right next to you. <laughs> and then the ship finally left the harbour to our next destination, Langkawi Island. And with Ollie giving Tilly the most awkward wave in the history of waves, it was time to explore the ferry before we sat down to relax and recharge. And now it's time to relax a little bit. We got a three hour ferry, right? So, leaning back, maybe having a little nap. But soon, relaxing time was over, and we went downstairs to see if Tilly melted in the unbearable heat. Yes, Tilly didn't melt! So we prepared ourselves and got ready to leave the ferry. While I fought Tilly off the center stand, we waited for our gap. And I drove off, leaving Maddie behind. Just kidding, but this is where this episode ends. In the next episode, you will see a massive eagle sculpture, Ollie taking a wee in the most beautiful toilet ever, Maddie walking down the beach with an amazing sunset. Tilly jumping over a dodgy metal sheet. Before we finally make our way to the Thai border. Hi guys, so 
that was episode three. We really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, leave a comment. We love hearing your feedback and seeing all your messages. So quick outro from us this time from the editing suite. That's editing Ollie. Hi. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for all the support and all the messages and everything that we're getting from you guys. We really love having you guys with us on our journey. And um, for whoever wants to say thank you, we now include it somewhere here or here, <laughs> or I don't know where exactly that is now, a little thanks button on YouTube. Um, if you want to say thank you, or you can also buy us a tank of fuel if you want to. It's in the description below. Just uh, go there and check it out if you enjoy our videos, episodes, and entertainment. We would absolutely love that. And our next episode is actually uh, the last episode of our time in Malaysia before we cross over to the Thai border. So that's pretty exciting. That's going to be amazing. So yeah, as we said, quick outro. Here we go. See you next time. Bye.